Uyunga Lale, did you get that? Threw for 914 yards, five touchdowns, and no interceptions last season. The Tigers seem to be set. Ohio State, not quite. There are three talented options in C.J. Stroud, Kyle McCord, and Jack Miller. Buckeyes fans tried to squeeze some clues out of their spring game, but not even Coach Ryan Day has the answer yet. At Texas A&M, it's either Haynes King or Zach Calzada. And at Notre Dame, Wisconsin transfer Jack Cohn could give the Irish an opportunity for a more explosive offense. At Alabama, meet Bryce Young, who is facing lofty expectations because of his potential and who he plays for, not how much he's played. Young has only thrown the ball 22 times in college. He might not be the best QB in the SEC. With so much talent around him, though, he might not have to be. All right, Heather joins us now. And, Heather, let's start with Alabama's Bryce Young. Young follows quarterbacks Mac Jones and Tua Tungavailoa, both first-round picks. So what should we expect to see from Young this coming season? Well, I think it starts with his new offensive coordinator, Bill O'Brien, who is known for working with 3,000-yard passers. I think that's a fair expectation. But that being said, he's got to do what we saw in the spring game against SEC teams. And Alabama opens against Miami on September 4th. That's not a pushover game. That's not a gimme. He's going to be tested right off the bat. And he's got a lot of good talent, but new, unproven talent around him as well. So. He was a five-star quarterback, highly rated. Alabama fans are already drooling over him. 333 yards, a touchdown, no interceptions in the spring game. The expectations are very high, but there's still a lot to prove. Number one ranked quarterback recruit in the 2020 class. Cannot wait to see him play. Elsewhere, DJ Uyangalule will be replacing one of the best college quarterbacks of all time in Trevor Lawrence. So how does DJ and Clemson look to stack up this coming season. Well, DJ played pretty well in the spring game. You know, when you look at Clemson, I think one of the biggest questions is who's going to be his backup quarterback? Who's going to be the go-to running back if there is one or if it will be by committee because Travis Etienne is no longer there. They've got to find who's going to be the star wide receivers. It's a, a good problem for Tony Elliott because there's a lot of talent in that group, but also the defense has to be better. And I think defensive coordinator Brent Venables has spoken about that. He realizes that and he thinks that they can be. But I would say that Clemson and the Georgia game is going to be huge for both of those programs. And we will learn a lot about the Tigers very quickly in the season opener. And I have a sense that we will all learn how to say Uyangalule by the end of next season, Heather. He's probably going to be that good. Thank you so much, Heather. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.